um, so for my SMART goal, I decided to create a sequence that lasted around 15 to 17 minutes that focused on my favorite posture that I used to do in my old yoga class called the wild thing. And the wild thing is a back bend and almost an inversion, I guess, that, um, what happens is after coming from downward dog and going into three-legged dog, you twist your body backwards so that one of your feet is just as it would be in bridge and the other is kind of pointed outwards with your legs stretched, one arm behind you and the other reaching out. It gives this really good stretch to your back and also to your front side. And I chose this not only because it's my favorite posture, but also because I crack my back a lot throughout the day and I wanted to see if doing this for a whole entire week would help me stop doing that. And so I started this goal on March 19th and I would do it every morning whenever I woke up. I didn't want to set a sp particular time for it just because I'm not the kind of person who wakes up at the same time every day. My schedule is very chaotic and so that worked best for me. Um, I would also, I didn't spe set a specific place to do it just because I move around a lot throughout the week and so I just did it wherever I woke up that day. Um, and I, the whole entire sequence lasted for about 17 minutes, but I would hold each posture for five breaths and then wild thing, I would re remain in for seven breaths, which kind of allowed me to um, set the pace of my practice with my breath as opposed to looking at a clock constantly, which I liked. And so the sequence itself was pretty simple. Um, I went from mountain pose to a forward fold and, and, you know, do a half lift and do a plank, do the push-up thing, go into downward dog, and then a three-legged dog with your leg raised, and then I would go into wild thing and come back out of that the same way I went in and then do that on the other side. And um, what I found with it is that I really liked it the first day, obviously, because I was excited that I had made something myself. But then throughout the week, I got really bored with it because it just focused on one posture. And I wish that I would have incorporated more poses into it that I found challenging. I think I would have liked it a lot more. And um, one of my overall findings was that on the nights that I didn't sleep a lot, I really hated my sequence. And so I think it's important when making fitness goals to not just look at one aspect of fitness, such as stretching or breath, but rather look at health as an entirety of, you know, getting enough sleep and eating right and things like that. Thank you. Bye.